We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. Hi, I'm your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving in and we're checking out the book of the game. Adventures in Lehman, or Lehman, or Lehman, uh, or and I, I feel like the book of the game kind of sounds like a, a sporting event movie of some sort, like a football movie or something, right? But I digress. It looks really, really cool. This has actually been on my radar for a while. I did miss the release. The game is made by MDH Software and released on April 1st, 2022. April of this year was incredibly busy for me. And uh, it's no surprise that I missed out on the release, but I saw them uh, being compared to Battle Brothers, which is obviously a game that I'm a big fan of, a game that the developer themselves are a big fan of. So really, really cool to, to see that. And, you know, I said, hey, you should totally let me check it out. And they did. They sent it my way. So big shout out and a thank you to MDH Software for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I'm excited and eager to dive in. I was hoping to get this done yesterday, but, uh, you know, <sighs> so busy, so busy. Anyway, we're going to go to tutorial because I have no idea how to play. I haven't actually launched this at all yet. So let's get in here and do this. Okay. Tutorial first, let's set up a new game. Read the message and click to continue. Then enter a name for your band of adventurers. Choose a background, bonuses and penalties for each, and set the game difficulty. You can click on the shield to design a new one. When you are done, click the tick. You, the tick, spoo, sorry, um, you will be able to carry on playing once the tutorial is finished. Cool. So the tutorial is kind of teaching you how to play and then you get to actually continue. So that's very, very cool. Very reminiscent of other games. I like it. Truly, this is an age of darkness. Foul beasts roam the land. Abominations scurry in the dark. Bandits and scum walk the streets openly. The leader of men, who, Lord Pontificio Cassius, is enthralled by religion, convinced the world is the stage for a great game, a grand battle between the gods. But it is also an age of opportunity. Treasures lay unclaimed beneath the earth. Vast glory awaits those with the courage to reach out and seize it. You have decided to put together a band of adventurers for this very purpose. Okay, cool. I only sort of know how to read. Sweet. Can I close this? Nope. Okay. Uh, give our party a name. The War Adventure. Everybody knows it's the freak show, baby. What? That's what we're doing here. Alright, and we get to choose whom... St oh, oh, these are different starting backgrounds. Okay. Militia. Cool. So we can be militia. Uh, guardsmen. Start with better equipment. 15% higher salary. Merchants. 5% better prices to buy and sell. More trade goods available. Fame increases more slowly. And slightly slower map movement. Uh, thieves Guild. Start with three rouges or uh, rogues. Gain bonus loot. Bad relations to begin with. Non-thieves get 10% XP gain penalty. Yeah. Start with Wanderers. Start with three Wanderers. Bonus to map move speed and view range. Start with better bows. Non-Wanderers get a 10% bonus experience. Blah, blah, blah. Penalty. Cool, cool, cool. The Wizard. Start with an Acolyte and two Warriors. 20% XP gain for Acolytes. Others get a penalty. Northerners. Start in the Northlands. Recruits more likely to be strong and hardy. Poor prices away from the North. <sighs> And finally, pit fighters. Start with exotic weaponry and specializations. A little more likely to attract heroic recruits, but the salary is significantly higher. I kind of don't hate the idea of just starting with the militia. But, you know what, let's just go with the guardsmen. Is there a, is there a random start button here? No, that'd be kind of neat. All right, well, you know what? We'll start with the militia. Let's start with the militia. We'll go with medium. I'm going to go with normal. Uh, save any time, just in case. Uh, we have the choice of elder invasion. If you turn this off, you will not experience the elf or dwarf invasions, leaving you to adventure in peace. And same thing with the orc threat. If set, orcs can grow big enough to threaten all Lehman. 
If unset, the orcs will remain at, at nuisance level only. Interesting. Okay, that seems fine. And then we can change our design. I suppose there's a fedora just laying around over here. Is there? That's a crown. Hmm. I'm really in love with a lot of this. Um, is there an axe by chance? No axe, huh? That seems strange. That we... So we can keep going right forever, but we can't go left forever. Only go left back to this. That, that is a that is a slightly weird thing. Um, I'm just gonna go with the sword. That's fine. What? I didn't hate the green there. That wasn't too bad. Purple. Ooh. Can we get a blue? Is that the only blue color we've got? Yeah. Uh. I think I like the purple with the purple and black. Yeah, let's just go with that. And then icon color, we can make that maybe blue. But what about the rest of it? That's fine. I'm okay with that. That works. Kind of works with my, uh, my icon and everything else. Okay. You begin the game at the capital of mankind, Greyhaven. On this screen, you can hire new adventurers, buy equipment, and accept dangerous missions. But first, you already have three starting adventurers. Let's take a look at them. Click on one of their portraits. This is it's our boys down here. Anthony Ward. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. All right. What, what am I looking at here? Uh, here, you can equip your characters, rename them, set your formation. Oh, by the way, down below in the description of the video... Uh, down below in the comment section to the video, guys and gals. Sorry. So used to saying the description. Um, sign up if you want to be a part of the uh, the old squad. Sign up down below. Uh, just uh, first and last name. That's that's pretty much it. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with you after that. Um, let's see here. All right. Uh, rename, set your formation, deal with level ups, check out the character's stats, examine your characters, and see if there was any one exceptional. Okay. When you're done, click the X to go back to the city screen. Okay, sword skill, uh, slight. Strength penalty of level per level slash two. HP penalty level plus one. Hmm. A leader. Okay. Uh, that's uh, a natural inspiration. Stacks with leadership skill. And then slow healer. Daily chance of level times 10% to recover HP less than normal. He sucks. All right, Peter Gatz. Knife skill. Oblivious, penalty to perception. Cool. Plotter, penalty to move. Great. Destined for great things. Okay. And finally, David Killingworth. I like the name. He's terrifying. He's ugly, though. Penalty to charm and a possible trigger for some events. Great. Brave, receive level times 2 bonus morale at combat start. Gain level times 15%. Chance to avoid all morale drops. And stacks with a brave skill. Okay, which I thought is what he had. It's fine. And careful, penalty of level X2 to attack. That's not great. And bonus of level X2 to defense. Okay. Well, it looks like our people suck. But from humble beginnings, right? First thing to do is to hire a couple more adventurers. You start with three warriors, not a bad beginning, but not enough to intimidate most enemies. Click this building to hire. <laughs> Alright, uh, you begin the game at Greyhaven, Mankind's Capital, and there are quite a few adventurers available to start the game. Hire two more adventurers by clicking on the figure and then accept him. Alright, let's see what Kat, uh, Katrina Latuski has to offer. Cost 750 gold now. A character will be expected 14 gold per day, plus 5% share of all treasures. Yikes. These values will increase as the character gains levels. I'm assuming that's going to be like everybody. Yeah. The fact that she doesn't have eyes is a little off putting. 
Um, it's Robert. We got Chris. We got Derek Humphreys. We got Brian Gatz and Stephen Pickhaver. Or Pickhaver. Uh, we'll go with. Oh, wait, wait. oh wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on. That says Rogue, Warrior, Warrior, Rogue, 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 Rogue. He's level two, though. He's much more fancy. All right. Come, level two rogue. Okay. Uh, we click the X. Sure. Now, let's buy a little extra equipment by heading to the shop. Oh, this looks sick. All right. Don't spend all your gold. Save at least a thousand. I've got 2750. Your adventurers get paid a salary, and being unable to pay them can lead to early catastrophe. Click and drag or. Right click on an item to buy or sell it. When done, head back to the main Grey Haven screen. Do we know what any of these people have? He's got a sword. You got a knife and knife skills. You have a sword and sword skills. You have a sword and sword skills. And you have no skills and you're currently using a knife. And I'm curious as to whether or not that's something we need to be aware of. Spot trap and spot and disarm trap and optimist. Hey, that's good. Way to level up. Oh, and we rolled. These are the available upgrades. Street Fighter. Receive a bonus to attack and defense. Ambush bonus is party's highest level only. Ambush chance increased. Oh, that's kind of neat. Sneak attack. Bonus to attack when you're attacking your enemy's rear. It's like a flanking bonus. Opportunist gives a free strike at the first enemy to move into base contact. That's really good too, man. Dodge blows at close combat. That's pretty incredible. Man, there's a lot of really good skills just immediately. I'm going to go with uh, Street Fighter, though. It's probably not the right play. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is literally my first time playing the game. I'm probably, almost assuredly, going to make a thousand wrong moves before we start making right moves. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just, just bear with me. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. I, I'm, I'm here to make the mistakes and have some fun doing it. So hopefully you guys are here to see it. All right. Stuff's real expensive. Um, so we can buy a shield. Uh, uh, five damage. So speed plus four. All right, I'm going to go with the spear and that, and I didn't really look too heavily at their armor, common chain mail, and then one of y'all, common leather armor. Okay, so that's that, and then the, like the better armor is down here. Okay, okay I kind of have an idea what's going on. We have no ranged individuals. I wouldn't hate Humphreys going ranged. Because he's the only one who doesn't seem to have a weapon mastery skill. I was going to give him something different, but that's kind of why I bought the spear. So I'm wondering if we could get away with maybe buying a bow. Do we have to buy arrows? It doesn't look like that. I'm gonna buy a I'm gonna buy a bow as well. And maybe another couple shields. Still got a lot of gold. I feel like I could spend more money. Let's go with a health potion. This is a warhound? Oh my god. I want that immediately, but it said to save about a thousand gold. And it doesn't look like I can sell stuff back. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to live with what, what choices I've made here. All right, uh, the final thing you can do on the screen is get a job. Click on the highlighted building. All right, I will do that in a minute. I'm not going to do that yet. All right, you already have that. You already have that. I didn't look to see if they had shields. I absolutely should have done, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to give you the spear. I'm going to give you a shield. And we're, we're prepared for, we're, we're future-proofing a little bit, right? It's not necessarily a bad thing. How much health do you have, buddy? 18, 18, 17, 17, like 15. My god, man. Wait. Oh no. 
did did he did he use that oh no no there's there's like a maybe a graphical glitch I don't know. We're just going to assume that he now has a health potion. But also, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. It's fine. All right. Uh, missions. Here you can see what jobs are available. You can have five active at any time. Some jobs begin straight away. Others will require some travel. Don't feel obligated to take contracts. You can earn money in other ways. Most notably, via exploring and finding hidden locations. Let's take a look at the available work for now and then head back to the main Greyhaven screen. Okay. Caravan guards. The roads are so dangerous these days. Orcs and bandits are, and even worse. Ensure my goods get to their destination and you shall be handsomely rewarded. You'll be paid 1750 gold. The caravans will go to Grail. You depart at once. Yeah, I don't I don't depart, sorry buddy. Now it's time to head away from Greyhaven, and let's see what the Land of Layman has to offer. Uh, hit this. Ooh, the screen shows you the world view. Click to move to any location. Click on a town to enter it. Click on an enemy red background to attack them. You can attack non-hostile units as well. Green background by holding down control and clicking on them to try your hand at banditry. Away from the towns, you may find all sorts of hidden ruins, dungeons, and worse. The vast riches of forgotten ages lie waiting to be claimed. The last thing to show you is combat. Luckily, here come some minor thugs now, a perfect chance to sharpen your skills, ahead of sterner tests. Okay, okay, I'm looking at these guys. Combat, uh, a few bullies on the loose. Let's teach them a lesson uh, they will never forget. All right, the enemy consists of two convicts, apparently, and retreat is impossible. Let's do battle. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, sorry. This is the combat screen. Click on one of your team to examine stats and give orders. Uh, you will see green, yellow, red overlay on the map when someone is selected. The green zone shows the area you can move easily to. Red means you have to run. Uh, using all your action points each turn will quickly exhaust you. Using only half should be quite comfortable. Interesting uh, choices there. Okay. Design philosophy. Okay. Oh, that fool's got a bow. To attack, just click on an enemy. You will need to be adjacent, of course, unless you have a missile weapon or missile weapon, in which case you can slay them from afar. Go forth and beat these thugs. To end of the turn, press enter, or by clicking on the icon in the bottom right. Mm. See, this is uh, this is one of the things where I was very lucky and grateful that the uh, folks at Overhype Studios, again, I'm going to talk a little bit about Battle Brothers, because it does have a lot of overlapping things and similarities, and you guys know, I was the first ever person to cover Battle Brothers. It is near and dear to my heart, and I love games that take that premise and do their own thing with it so um, I think in my opinion I, I would I would probably not have enter as the end turn uh, E could work F could work spacebar if there's a wait command which I don't know that there is alright I'm going to move here and I'm going to hit space okay so spacebar let me at least do whatever that was. I don't know if space is end turn or wait. The fact that everybody is melee disturbs me very much. So it, it basically spacebar is next person. E doesn't seem to do anything. F is end turn okay next adventure and then end turn is enter i would all right so so here here's my the reason i don't like enter is end turn my hands on w a s d right I, that's how i'm moving the the camera around that's how i'm looking and doing stuff right i i don't want to have to lift my hand up and go all the way over to enter to hit it or take it off the mouse to hit it 
So being able to, and it could be that's reprogrammable. That's fine. Uh, but I think uh, like F or G or T or something, something that's a little further than like E might be too close. F was probably fine. But um, yeah, that, that's that's just one of those things that I would change. And I believe if I'm not wrong, Battle Brothers started, it's been a long time. Battle Brothers started off with Enter maybe, maybe being Enter or Spacebar was Enter. And you hit spacebar to wait. And I, I was like, man, I really wish they would change it. So they changed it, and then I think they put it to enter. And then enter was too far away, and then I think they moved it to F or something else now. It's been a while since I played Battle Brothers, but still. Like I said, incredible game. This is looking really, really slick. I, I do like this a lot. I love the fact that I can zoom in. Look at this. Look, you can get right up in there and be like, what's up, convict? What's going on, buddy? I don't know how. Oh, you can zoom out pretty far as well. I'm not in any rush to move too far forward right now. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, you can shoot from some distance. Okay. Okay, that's a bit more than I expected, honestly. All right, if I move down here, I can just smack you. That's 26 versus six. Oh, he, he having a bad day. He having a real bad day now. I think I'm gonna... Oh, I can't just run at him? Okay, I think, I think we're gonna try to run him down. I think that's gonna be the plan right now. Okay, so he's try he tried to step out and we got like attacks of opportunity. Looks like so that's really, really good. Alright, we gained two experience, we got one kill, so he he dum dum, he he doesn't get a lot of experience, maybe. Uh David Killingworth, uh two experience, lost two hit points. Uh Katrina let soup let's what was it? Let Latuski. She's got three experience. Uh Peter Gra uh, Gotts got six experience. And Derek Humphreys got three. So Peter's the man right now when it comes to getting that experience. If only all battles were this easy. All right, we got ourselves another bow. Okay, so hopefully at some point grab all and then leave. Okay. A word on magic. Spells are very powerful. Now, this is something that they didn't want to go down that route of. So I'm very happy and very excited to see how magic plays into this because I think that's going to be incredible. Spells are very powerful in the world of Lehman, uh, or Lehman. Uh, you may need them to take on some of the legendary enemies of these lands, but mana is a precious commodity, replenishing very slowly. Save it for when it's really needed. If you fall in battle, things may not be as bad as you think. Adventurers are hardy souls and may be as good as new after a bit of doctoring. Having a dedicated healer will vastly increase their chances. As you gain experience, your characters gain, will gain new levels and gain powerful new abilities. At level 5, your characters will be able to specialize and take on a more powerful profession. Choose wisely, as this decision can never be changed. Later on, watch out for special events. The great game is afoot. Only one race can ultimately reign supreme in Lehman. That's pretty much it. The tutorial is at an end. Of course, there is lots more to learn about this game, but you now have the very basics. Press F1 at any time to bring up help for a screen. Okay, good luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to break it off right there at the end of the tutorial. Uh, like I said, I just a couple small things there. Uh, again, enter seems like a bad choice for ending turn. Especially when it doesn't look like yet there's other stuff that's directly tied to like F or you know whatever other buttons. Uh, even tab was something that I, I think I, I mentioned as a potential um, end turn button. But it should be around your left hand in my opinion. Or if you're right handed, it should be around the WASD keys. Regardless of, of which hand you use, right? Because that's where your hand naturally sits when you're playing games. If you're, you know, you're using a keyboard and mouse and all that stuff. Uh, excited to see how magic plays into it. Um, I love that the 
ranged attacks are as far out as they are. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what all this game has to offer. It looks really, really cool. A big shout out and a thank you once again to the developer for hooking me up with the code for this. I absolutely did not have to do it after the game has been out since April. Uh, meant, a, meant a lot to me that, uh, you know, my, my offhanded comment of, uh, you should totally send it to me, uh, half joking, but at the same time, 100% wanting to get my hands on this is, uh, just maybe a week before I went looking to see if there was any way I could request a code for this through my various means that I have and, uh, short of contacting them directly, it didn't look like there was a way. So this was really cool. Did not expect it to come my way and I'm super happy it did. I am really looking forward to diving in and playing around with this. I hope you guys give it a chance. I hope you guys check it out. And again, if this is very similar to Battle Brothers, as again, it has a lot of those same vibes and so on and so forth, don't try to judge it directly with Battle Brothers. It's its own thing. It's its own identity. It has its own quirks, its own choices and design decisions and everything else. It It's looking right now, again, very early impressions to be a, a very fantastic game. I can't wait to play more, and hopefully you guys are along for the ride. And if you like to see, you'll pick it up yourselves and you'll check it out. Anyway, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links for you. Don't forget, if you want to sign up to be part of the squad, to sign up down below in the comment section of the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do backflips, whatever it is you want to do to get the algorithm happy with me. By all means, do it. As of the recording right now, we have less than 20 subscribers to go before we hit 20,000, which is a massive deal, something I've been working at for, well, <laughs> over nine years now, apparently. And uh, we're real close. So thank you, everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's watched the video, commented, uh, anyone who's taken part in any of my Let's Plays as a name, or showed up to live streams, or any of that stuff. It means the world to me, means a lot, and it lets me keep doing what I do. And again, shout out and thank you to the developers because with that folks like you that are generous sending me stuff i wouldn't be able to cover half or even a tenth of what i do so very humbled and very appreciative all right folks i've been your host bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show we play we fight we conquer <laughs>